Hi there, this is Tracy. Today we're going to talk about the gray rock method of keeping a narcissist at bay. I just made a video on no contact, so if you're curious as the difference between no contact and gray rock, you can go visit that website, that video. I'm gonna put the URL below. Um, gray rock is a method that is for people that have to continue co-parenting, working with, maybe it's a parent, if you have a parent or a family member that you're going to see at events, um, you can sort of do a no contact, but then you're at these events. So something with a narcissist that of course pisses them off, which is the same as no contact, is they don't like to be ignored. It, it really pisses them off, which is why I love no contact. Um, they don't get their way. Same thing with gray rock. Gray rock is when you take the power back. And when they try to engage with you and when they try to, you know, hoover you back or, or be kind to you or false pretense of, of doing good things, um, your, your response is absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's it. Yep. If you're sitting there and they're telling you and they may be, whoa, 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 whoa. away that's, that's I was picturing as a soccer game and you're on the sidelines but um, don't engage that's the key to gray rock is just don't engage they're gonna try and now you're in a situation maybe you work in the next cubicle to them so so the trick would be to just not engage just don't let them know that it's affecting you because that's what they're going for and they might step it up they're gonna step up their like attacks so they can either go the sweet route or they can go the ugly route they're gonna step it up as soon as you start to ignore them they're gonna step up the anger that you know they're gonna step up telling people things about you they're going to um, make it so that you have to react but no matter what you do just hold on to not reacting in front of them if you react when you get home Stick your head in the pillow and scream, that's okay. But if they see you, then if, they're, if it's visible to them that they've gotten to you, then they know they still control you. And so the best thing to do is just, nah, I don't think so, shrug. Just didn't really work for me, thanks. I don't want you to ever tell a narcissist that you're going gray rock. I won't say the word, I mean they can look it up. <laughs> but. Just if they know that that's your, your plan, then they're gonna attack you in different ways. Just don't give your hand away. Just pretend like you don't care because they're craving attention. Keep your dialogue to the most, like minimum that you can possibly get. Again, if it's your mother at a wedding, hello, thank you, bye. How's your son? Good, thanks. Whatever it is, how's your life, how's your job? Good, thanks. Don't let them know you're doing really well. Don't let them know you're sucking and life is terrible because then they win. It's neutral. It's I am not telling you anything. And when you empower yourself to do that, it's gonna piss them off, which we love. Um, so don't talk about your personal life. Um, don't tell them how you're really doing. Don't ask them questions. If you engage in a question that is going to um, let them know that you care, they're just going to know that they've got you. So stick to the packs, facts and um, be prepared. Be prepared for them to get angry. But the more they get angry, the more you ignore them, the less you're going to be of interest. Got this little case here. That's my microphone case. Imagine a cat playing with a toy. And maybe it's a buzzy toy and it vibrates around the house and it does different things and it's cool. And then the mouse dies. And the mouse doesn't do anything anymore. The cat's gonna get bored. And that's exactly what we wanna do with the narcissist. We want them to just be like, upset but 
it empowers you to take control because we've given our control away for so long that we need to make sure that we put our safety first. And that means less contact with them. I think that's all I got. So this is Tracy. If you haven't visited my website, NarcissistAbuseSupport.com, we've got lots of great resources. Um, we've got recommended books, we've got blogs, we've got all the red flags, we've got um, healing tools. So visit us um, if you like to listen to podcasts. I've got a podcast you can find on iTunes. I think if you put in Tracy A. Malone or certainly Narcissist Abuse Support, you will find me on there. And um, for all of you that are out there that have subscribed to me, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so 